Hello guys, welcome back. So we're back in the woods where we were the other week testing out the Team U hammock. Wasn't actually planning on making a video today. However, scrolling through Facebook Mark, well, scrolling through Facebook this morning, as you do with your morning coffee, I come across a post on the marketplace which was for a bit of a camping haul. Um, there was, uh, as part of the, there was, there was two hammocks, uh, an underquilt, uh, which we're going to be looking at today. All DD stuff, so really good stuff. Uh, and then there were some other bits and bobs which I'm not interested in, like a, a cheap bed, um, a, a blow-up sim, mattress thing. Not interested in that sort of stuff. But it just proves that hammocking or camping in general can be done on a budget. So, what did we get? for the grand total of 20 pound. 20 pound it was, the whole haul was 20 pound. So, we'll start with DD Camping Hammock. Uh, 2.7 by 1.4 meters in olive green. Yes, it's, oh well, I haven't got it out of the bag yet, but it looks pretty used, uh, but Right now, this hammock on DD is selling for £27.50. Appreciate you'd be able to get that slightly cheaper through Amazon, but £27.50p. Bearing in mind I paid 20 quid for everything. So, we're going to get it out, we're going to get it up, and we're going to see did I actually get a bargain or not. Okay, there's the first one set up. What can I say? It's a cheap hammock. Truth be told, it does smell. In all fairness, the advert did say that the hammocks have been packed away for some time. So, can you put these things to the washing machine? I don't see why not. It's massive, and I'm not convinced I've actually got this one set up correctly, to be honest. Is this one, does anyone know anything about DD hammocks? The hammocks I've currently used are from a company called Knapsack, and they're a Scottish family company. So I've never actually owned a DD hammock before. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this zip's all about. Is that for, no idea what the zip's all about, to be honest. Do I sleep in there? Do I sleep on top of there? Assuming I sleep in there. Assuming I zip, zip myself up. Is that what you do? You get in? Or do I get in there? No idea. If anyone knows, do I sleep on or in, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so I didn't want to take my I didn't want to take my boots off to be honest, but cameraman Stan is in his crocs. Yes, in crocs, in the middle of the woods. Anyway. Cameraman Stan is now inside, completely zipped up. I mean it's pretty good to be fair. For the price, uh, it's actually sound. It's actually really good. Again, I've not really had any experience with um, DD hammocks before. My All my hammocks are from a company called Knapsack, like I say, so. Yeah, that's hammock number one. And that one is the DD Hammocks Camping Hammock. In olive green. 2.7 meters by 1.4 includes 10 meters of webbing I'm assuming that's what this is is that for a ridge line I guess that's for a ridge line no idea like I say guys please let me know in the comments because it's the first time I've used one of these okay so we've done a bit of research maybe we should have done this before we come out but 
these are literally it's now I don't know about one o'clock uh, on a Sunday afternoon I seen these on Facebook at 10 o'clock this morning picked them up at 12 o'clock and come straight to the woods so it is you know I'm like a very excited child however we've done a bit of research the zip you may already know this and hopefully you've already commented is for a um, like a, like a mattress goes inside so you actually sleep on top like this uh, we've actually changed trees as well changed locations slightly wider which works better to be fair and do you know what as I keep saying and I will keep saying on this channel that's what I'm all about this has been done on a budget do you know what I mean this is 20 pound for three hammocks and some other camping equipment I could either I could, I could sell the other equipment and make me money back I'm not going to do that uh, yeah we're going to set up the next hammock now so the next one is the DD travel hammock stroke bivy um, this has got poles in which is not something I've ever seen on a, any of my hammocks I've just had a quick look and it says the poles are for the mosquito net uh, this particular one is actually the bivy it's got a waterproof base which allows a hammock to be used as a basic bivy on the wet ground again not something I've ever seen in a hammock before uh, but yeah we're going to get it up on the same trees and then we'll bring you back the downsides to uh, budget hammocking or budget camping in general we just put this out and we found some rubbish some litter not sure how to get in there yet what we got Mix Max with tasty cocoa cream filling. No idea what they are, guys. No idea. Expiry date the 28th of January 2021. It's now February 2024, so I'm guessing that's been in there for three years. That's how long this hammock has been uh, away for. <laughs> Again, if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll understand that. This isn't a professional camping channel. It's a father and son, stand the cameraman. And we just enjoy the outdoors and just want to share a bit of, a bit of laughter, a bit of love and laughter. Uh, and to show that people, it's not all Instagram. So we say, you know, the reality is things go wrong and I don't understand this hammock at all. So we just put it together. We've got these four pegs, sound, they're ground pegs. That's obviously for when you turn into a bivy. Uh, put them away. I've also got two spreader bars. One is broke. It was cheap as chips, as I've already said. Um, but yeah, I don't really know where they go. This is... The obvious question is in there. The obvious solution is in there. But the ends, the ends are sewed up. I mean, they are the right, the right sort of width to go there. So I don't know whether someone, I mean, there's a little hole there, but there's no way, there's no way that you feed this bar through there. No way. You see that? There's no way that it gets fed through there. And it's exactly the same the other side. So again, the obvious solution is that goes in there. But again, it's all sewed up, so I have no idea what to do with that. In terms of the hammock itself, again, this built-in bug net. Really big, but a zip on both sides. It's a comfy hammock, it's a hammock, what can I say? Oh. I'm not going to zip myself up because I don't want to get dirt in here. But I will. You get the gist. That's the hammock. I feel like, I feel like I need to go home. I've only bought these hammocks. I've got the underquilt, which we're gonna get the underquilt on this one in a minute. 
but I feel like I need to go home and set my other hammock up in the garden. Um, people rave about DD hammocks, which I might be missing something because I just don't get it. What's all this about? Assuming you tie that up like that, that being sewed in, that might have been someone else, the previous owner. Um, but like I say, I'll, 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 I'll cut in a minute. At the end of this video, they'll be back in my, my garden setting up my knapsack hammock, which is the, my go-to hammock. Um, and just showing how easy that is, to be honest, because this just seems a faff. So cameraman Stan, so cameraman Stan is getting in. Cameraman Stan demonstrating this one again. Do a diagonal lay. This particular one come with, well, I'm going to call it a sausage. I'm sure there's a technical name for it. And I'm sure it's an added extra. Sure it is. Again, someone, someone will let me know. But yeah, that's that hammock. Uh, comes with carabiners. Nice, nice, uh, nice carabiners to be fair. I mean, I've just trucked this up here. I assume that's right. You just on the ridge line. Yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, the under blanket under now, guys, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, the uh, under blanket is on. I think. Is that all you do? You just hook them, hook them on. Assuming that's all you do. However, cameraman Stan is in there, and he, you can confirm that this uh, can confirm that he's no longer feeling the draft, so it's doing its job. When I was out the other night. Uh, in my hammock in the woods, I didn't take an under blanket and I was cold. There's a video on that, yeah, on the channel. So please, please do go and watch that. Uh, but yeah, I think what I'll do now is just put all these hammocks away. Well, I'll put this hammock away, put this all away. Head back home to the garden and just show, and just show the difference in these hammocks compared to my knapsack hammock. I just think mine's, it's much better made personally, in my opinion. They don't do an under, blank, under, uh, an under blanket, so this is good to have. Um, I think what I'll do with these hammocks is, I'm not too sure, uh, either a giveaway or resell them or gift them on. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts, but I will cut now to my garden thank you right now i'm back home guys in the garden please i'm sorry about the noise we live right next to the motorway so it's pretty noisy however i wanted to show you now he shows you those dd hammocks my personal favorite which i've been using since 2019 i think um it's by a company called knapsack hammocks And they are a family run business, uh, I believe from Scotland, Glasgow, I think. Um, however, this is the first ever hammock I bought. Found it on Facebook. Well, it's so good, I've actually got three of these now. This is the biggest hammock I've got. This is called the Trekker Plus, Knapsack Trekker Plus. Um, I don't think they sell this one anymore. I've also got a Knapsack Trekker, slightly smaller version. Brought that for for the cameraman, and I've also got their back um, pocket hammock. Can't remember what that's called, but they still do sell that one. If I can find it now, I'll pop it in in the edit. And um, that one is so small, packs away to the size of a coke can. Perfect for well anything. But this is this is ideal. So this is how big it is, and I will set it up and then show you. Yeah, so. I have to do this really quickly because the rain is starting to come. So it's not set up properly to the point where we can get in it. 
just wanted to quickly show you. Normally, I've got a, a, a hammock stand in the garden. This hammock's slightly too long for it. I normally set it up, the hammock on the wall, on the actual house, but as it's been winter, it's, uh, I can't actually get there at the moment. It's, it's a bit, well, between me and you, it's messy. So I can't actually move all the stuff. So I've got it on the hammock stand. It does fit, but it means I can't actually lay in it at the moment. But this is how the hammock looks. It's absolutely massive. It's, it's huge. Double skin. And it's got these cinch points. It's got these cinch points. One, two, three, four. And it's just, it just means it's almost like a modular design. You can, um, you know, cinch it in, cinch it out. You know, head, head in, head out legs in whatever um built-in ridge line built-in ridge line so it means you get the perfect lay every time um but this is my personal favorite hammock like i say i've had this since 2019 i think 2019 2020 um it's around about the 60 pound mark at the time like i say i don't i did check the other week and i don't think they're actually selling these anymore i don't actually think they're making these anymore um However, I will link the website below because they're a brilliant company. Um, this one doesn't come with a built-in bug net, but I did buy the bug net additional, and that just feeds over the hammock. Again, when it's not raining, I will show you that on another day, on another video. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. If you got this far, I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you stick around for future vids. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Thank you.